Hi Virgo, welcome to my main channel, Chelsea Love Tarot. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I've made some changes to this channel where I'll be posting all 12 individual sign readings once a week and live stream almost every day. In this reading, we are going to get you some important messages that you need to hear this week. Today is the 18th of December 2023. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 10.09 a.m. Okay Virgo, let's get your reading started. Audit, spirits and angels please show me for virgo important messages that virgos need to hear this week thanks for being here virgo Virgo, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and whoever who could be in your energy field this week. Six of Pentacles in reverse at the bottom of the deck. The Star and the Nine of Cups. These two cards are good. I feel like, Virgo, your wish is going to come true um, this week. Whatever you've been wishing for. Hmm. Also, the star can get healing. So there's a lot of healing going on this week, okay? Five of Pentacles. Um, I don't actually, I don't think the Five of Pentacles should be in that right position. It should be in reverse only because there's a star here and the star is a major arcana, so it always trumps the minor. This for me indicates, Virgo, for those, for those of you struggling financially or career-wise, um, I see some improvement, okay, because we've also got, again, the Nine of Cups and the Star. Improvement, healing, recovery of perhaps some of your finances, your career, Ace of Wands and Wands may have something to do with somebody you could be romantically connected to as well, to a sword. This could be somebody you haven't been speaking with in a while. Hangman in reverse, Ten of Swords in reverse. It feels like this, Virgo, just when you're about to give up on something or on someone or on a connection, you find out this week that, hey, you know what? It actually can be fixed. It can be healed. Um, perhaps somebody is going to set forth, um, put some effort into healing whatever that's going on between the two of you that has been going on between the two of you because the five pentacles indicate somebody feeling abandoned left out in the cold um, again two swords can indicate block communication or very little communication something that is not moving forward the chair in reverse ten of wands in reverse it's like just yeah this is like giving up right ten of swords as well in reverse just when you're about to give up this is when you realize with a star here that hey <laughs> i was just about to give up and then the star the star is so magical to me right now it almost feels um unexpected healing um unexpected wishes coming um true again just when you're about to give up or after you've given up okay so whatever it could be virgo Two sorts. Some of you, you may be feeling indecisive about a situation. Um, or again, you may not be talking to somebody. You may be feeling left out in a cold. Feeling rejected. Ace of Wands in reverse. Feeling like, uh, perhaps I should just give up. Hangman in reverse. Seeing things in a different perspective. And the Nine of Cups, it can, it can indicate self-centeredness. Or, you know, just thinking for yourself. Loving yourself. Because Nine of Cups is a very emotionally fulfilling card. So for some of you, Virgo, just when you realize that, you know, maybe I should just give up on whatever, this situation or this person. And I'm just going to focus on myself, do everything for myself, think for myself first. And this is when, you know, again, the star comes out. Um, but I definitely see successful healing. For a lot of you this week, Virgo, this reading actually reminded me of one of your other readings, but not on this channel, on my main cha uh, on my third channel, Chelsea, uh, no, Virgo by Chelsea. Check it out if you want to. It's a Virgo-only channel. 
Um, the link is in the description box below. We've got the Temperance and Wolvers. Six of Cups and Wolvers, Justice and Wolvers, King of Swords. I definitely see you cutting people off um, this week. People will give you like bad memories, Six of Cups. But also it can indicate that one person deciding to heal things with you. Or it could be you. And Knight of Pentacles is right here. This is your energy, Virgo, Capcom, Taurus. Stability, right? I think in uh, within this week, you're going to feel much more stable. Definitely some improvement in your finances um, or your career. But then there are a lot of, it feels like either something that is stagnant. Oh, wait a minute. There's a little bug right here. Wait. Oh, so annoying. Go, 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 go away. All right. Sorry about that. It's, it's just very distracting. So we've got the temperance here in our first. Again, that, this is this harmony. I feel like if right now, Virgo, if you're feeling imbalanced, you, you're going to feel much more balanced, okay, by the end of the week. And the star came out on your last reading, last two or three readings on my other channel. Um, actually has come out very frequently in a lot of your readings. Um, lately, so I feel like the star also can indicate some of you this week you're gaining a lot of attention. Um, Nine of Cups, again, if that's what you want, right, Virgo, attention, uh, fame, or popularity, or it could just simply be something that you want to achieve. That is your wish. I see you achieving it this week, okay? Some of you, it's reconciliation. For some of you, it's um, gaining some sort of a recognition or even gaining stability in your finances or somebody offering you um, a commitment, okay? Some of you, it's a commitment in terms of, you know, sign signing a, a contract because there's a justice right here. But the thing is, the, the, the weirdest thing about this reading is that Virgo you actually it's you didn't think you didn't think this this is gonna work out you didn't think that you're gonna get what you want but you're getting what you want see the star that's the last card like it came out last minute so that for me indicates Virgo on the last minute sometime this week you are going to find out something that you thought you have lost, justice in love verse, um, that you are conflicted, five of wands here, whether, you know, is, if this is going to work out, if what you want to achieve is going if to, if what you want to achieve can be achieved, I think if it's going to be achieved, I think it, it will, okay? And again, it's like a last minute thing because all these cards are, Aren't, they aren't really good to be honest Virgo but then suddenly there's like a really good card here which is you know the star major kana and I mentioned that already um, a major kana trumps all of the minors so improvement in your finances or reconciling with somebody because again star can indicate reconciliation um, gaining something here knight of pentacles which is going to make you feel uh, much more stable, secure, but also, again, can indicate somebody offering you something really good, okay, something stable. It could come in a form of commitment, loyalty, or money, contract. Some of you are working hard too, Knight of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Whether it's the holiday season or not, I see you working, Virgo. <laughs> And the King of Swords. Oh, another thing I'm hearing it, hearing is some of you might have to miss something because of work. Okay, that's just for some of you. King of Swords. I see you strategizing because it is the end of the year, and I see you um, organizing, strategizing, managing your life, your work. Um, Yeah, doing your own thing. Nine of Cups, some of you are going to pamper yourself as well. Nine of Cups is like, you know, again, can indicate somebody just taking good care of themselves, pampering themselves, indulging in um, a luxurious spa or whatever it could be for, for you, okay? What's pampering to 
um, somebody it may not be the same for others um, but anyway let's pull up more cards here Virgo let's see more see so many cards here I feel like um, Virgo again look all of the chaos here five of wands indicates chaos conflict right justice and well first if you've been feeling something isn't right someone isn't treating you fairly um, can indicate if you're going through a separation six of pentacles um, not an equal give and take kind of a connection that you've been having with either somebody or some people whether these people are people you work with or people you're connected to friendship wise family or even a romantic a romantic connection two of swords feeling like you just want to you know, cut them off, block them, don't want to talk to them, give up on them, 10 of ones, the chariot in reverse. There's a lot of cards. There are a lot of cards that says, you know, um, ah, maybe I should just give up. I don't even want to deal with it. I'm very disappointed. Five of cups with maybe one person or your situation, six of cups in reverse. If this is how you've been feeling lately, Virgo, that is going to change, okay? King of Swords. I see you finally gaining some clarity thinking, you know what, this is just not fair. I either Some of you are also going to be telling somebody the truth and be completely honest with what you, you've been thinking, how you're feeling. Even though you understand that there could be some consequence, consequences that comes with telling the truth. I see you doing it anyways, okay, but there is free will, two swords, okay, Virgo. Um, even when I say I see you doing it, you may or may not do it because... You have a choice here, right? And then five of pentacles, hangman in reverse. You, you're going to start to see or you're already starting to see um, how you haven't been treated fairly, okay, in a certain situation. And you're going to be deciding ten of swords in reverse to release that situation or that person. Eight of cups here is in reverse. So it can indicate someone coming back around perhaps apologizing to you with the temperance and the knight of pentacles or it could be you apologizing to someone uh, you might end up rejecting someone or a situation and thinking you know what um i'd rather be alone than be in this situation <laughs> i'd rather deal with myself than dealing with these people okay and the stars right here so again virgo a lot of healing and recovery i see uh, some people might apologize somebody might apologize to you this week um, and the again, Virgo, the weirdest part of this reading is how how you've lost faith. The higher form of verse, you're like maybe this is done, this is finished. But then out of nowhere, on a last minute, whatever you've been wishing for that you thought it's not gonna happen, it's gonna disappoint me over and over again. Um, losing faith again, thinking of, you know, I just want to cut this off, I want to forget about this thing. Next thing you know, the star, the star starts to shine. Um, <laughs> this is why I feel like this reading is kind of weird. It actually reminded me of a friend of mine. Uh, she told me that she was just about to quit modeling because she wasn't doing too well, didn't book too many jobs. So she told me, oh, you know what? I think I'm just going to quit uh, and just focus on my studies. And then the next thing you know, in the last minute, she just kind of like, yeah, this is my last effort. I'm just going to join like a modeling competition. And she joined and she won. So she and another girl, like th there were two, two winners, first place. And it was an international competition modeling competition she won and her life just changed after that she was booked with so many 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 jobs and she's so famous now in my country malaysia so for god this this reading actually reminded me of like a scenario like that i'm not saying it's exactly like that it's something about on a last minute just when you're about to give up and you go tell yourself that you know maybe i'll just like one last shot that kind of thing and and then suddenly everything just changes for the better and whatever you've been wishing for it's going to come true and you might find out within this week or you might see like it's leading towards that like it's improving your situation will be improving soon okay virgo this is your reading i hope you resonated in some way shape or form 
If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you like to book me, my information is in the description box. In the description, I can't talk. In the description box below. Um, was I gonna say? Oh yeah, for those of you who don't know that I do have another channel, my third channel, Virgo Only channel. Link is also in the description box below. And usually on this channel, I'll go live. Um, every now and then or every other day sometimes every day really depends but um, that's where I would usually do my to give, give personal reading okay you can book me in many different ways for personal reading you can send me an email or if you would like me to do your personal reading during live stream you can click on a bell notification button so you'll be notified it's not free but um, it's definitely way more for way more affordable than booking a private session with me all right it's not free but it's there's no price i'm i don't put a price on it so like if it's like a smaller super chat i'll just give you like a very brief reading if it's a bigger super chat i'll go more in depth i used to give it for free but i don't anymore <laughs> anyway take care virgo i hope to see you back here again sooner than later i love you bye